Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, Dave Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 4th of July 2018 and the time has just gone 11.55 British summer time. This week's Chart of the Week is the Russell 2000 or as we call it on, on our platform, the US Small Cap 2000. Taking a look at the price action uh, since the start of the year, we can see after a fairly sizable sell-off in January and February of this year, the Russell 2000 has managed to recoup all of its earlier all of its earlier losses and actually got on to press on to hit fresh record highs uh, in May and June this year. It was only at the back end of June that the, the, the Russell 2000 actually got on to hit a fresh record high. Uh, the Russell 2000 has, very, has clearly outperformed the Dow Jones and the S&P 500. Both of those indices are still nowhere near getting back to the highs of 2018, let alone printing fresh highs for the year so far. So, it's, so the, the Russell 2000 uh, has been the, the clear up performer of the, of the clear standard performer of those of those three indices. Uh, taking a look at the price action in recent weeks, we have drifted lower, uh, and it managed, the market has managed to find some support at this blue line here, the 50-day moving average, and it appears that we're actually be being edging higher again in recent sessions. Taking a look at the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram, we can see as the market was drifting lower here, we saw a steady increase in negative momentum. But in recent sessions, as the market has been pushing higher again, we're seeing a decline in negative momentum. So as the market is pushing higher, the, the selling pressure is waning. Uh, so we could see this upward move up continue on from here. And if we do continue on from here, we could be looking at targeting 1700, or if we go beyond that, we could be looking at targeting the recent all time high of 1715. Move to the downside, may find some support uh, at the 50 day moving average, this blue line here, which comes into play at 1634. And if we go below that, we could be looking at the heading back down towards the late May low of 1607, or perhaps even down to this area here, the, the mid April high of 1591. And if we move further south of there, we could be looking at heading back down towards this red line here, which is the 200 day moving average, which comes into play at 1558. Now, if you were to, to, to trade the Russell 2000, just be mindful that trade um, trade tensions are still ongo are still ongoing, uh, and, and the next few days we do have some important economic information out of the United States. Uh, on Thursday, the, we have the minutes from the latest Federal Reserve meeting, and on Friday we have the latest U.S. non-farm payrolls jobs report. That's all for me this week. Thank you very much.